Hey everyone, this is Fireworks Tutorial. In this video, I'll just be showing you my top three programs for people that multitask. And basically, these programs are just programs that I recommend and found out about. Um, there's probably more out there that's better. I don't know, but these are the three that I found, and I think they're just awesome. So I want to share with you guys. So since these require multiple tasks up I'm going to open them up right now alright so I've got quite a few tasks down here so the first program I've got is actually pretty new maybe not to some of you guys but um, it's called arrow shake and it's actually in the new operating system called Windows 7 from Microsoft and arrow shake is actually find it kind of fun to use so basically I'm gonna load up all these programs and with arrow shake I can take I can minimize all of these programs onto my test bar and and show my desktop and first of all I just take any one of my task so basically if I want to take Firefox and I can start basically I can start shaking it and as you guys can see all of my tasks minimize and um, I find this pretty cool to use so yeah um, this program I don't recommend it for people with slow computers it might lag on your computer because just because it I don't know it seems like it w it's the type of program that would make your computer lag but it all depends on you guys if you guys want to use that so basically that's arrow shake alright so the next program I've got is called taskbar shuffle and I've this is also very useful so for example if I've got all these tasks down here and what I can do is what I want to do is I want to kind of organize them so for example if I want Firefox, my two internet browsers, Firefox and Safari, to be next to each other so I can easily open them up. What I can do is with Taskbar Shuffle loaded up on my computer, what I can do is I just click and drag it next to Firefox and let it go. So basically, you just click, drag, and drop it. It's pretty simple. And for example, if I want Microsoft Paint with Windows Movie Maker. I click and drag, let go. So a pretty simple concept to it. So basically that's Taskbar Shuffle. Okay, so the last program I've got for you guys is called um, Always on Top Maker. And I find this program so useful because I'm always um, you know that that'll c kind of reveal what it does but for example let me close all of these and let's say I've got Safari and notepad right here and maybe I'm working on some sort of HTML coding or something and I'm moving back and forth on these programs and as you guys can see notepad kind of disappears when I select Safari so how we're gonna stop that is we need always on top maker what it does is if if we apply always on top maker to notepad it's not going to lose focus so basically there's three magic keys that helps you apply it to notepad so the first one is control alt and T on your keyboard so it's CTRL ALT and T on your keyboard so if I click those three keys you hear this dingy sound if you're on Vista and um, that means it's applied and if I go back to Safari as you guys can see notepad is still right there because I've applied always on top maker but let's say notepad is bigger one let's then apply this and Safari is a smaller one how come Safari is still losing focus? That's because I haven't applied always on top maker to Safari. 
so I have to manually apply to each window that I want always on top maker I want to have always on top maker applied to if that makes sense but um just click control alt T on your keyboard when Google or Safari is selected as you guys can see it's applied and um, so that's always on top maker I hope you guys enjoyed these three programs I've got for you guys hopefully they helped you guys out a bit and so basically that's it um if you guys want to check out my website and request tutorials go to fireworks tutorial.co.cc if you guys want to get updated with what I'm doing go to make sure to check out twitter.com slash fireworks tut and um, follow me on twitter thanks you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time also guys if you guys were just wondering on always on top maker and how you you can't remove it here's the thing you click control alt and delete on your keyboard to bring up the task manager if you're on vista there's another window should pop up just click start task manager and a window like this should pop up if you're just on xp basically just um make sure to highlight always on top maker right here and click end process and that should end the process of always on top maker and if you're on arrow shake or taskbar shell just right click and click exit on your tray icon so pretty much that's very simple if you guys were wondering how to kind of exit those programs alright guys hope you guys enjoyed this video